guys, it is time once again for Vlogmas. Even though I feel like we just finished Vlogmas, that was a year ago, <laughs> um, we are doing it again this year. So I am planning on uploading every single day in December and we're kicking things off with my Project Pan update. This is my last update before the finale, so I guess the semi-finale. Semi um, I have actually a very exciting update to share with you today. I have three empties, another couple of things that are close and I think will be done in my finale. So I'm also going to roll two new things in, which might sound kind of crazy, but they're just things I would like to start working on. One of them I don't think I could possibly have done by the end of the year. The other one I might actually be able to. And we're getting to that point of the year where I'm like, okay, my year-end makeup empties is coming up and I kind of just want to see like how many other things I could potentially finish before that video. So let's kick things off with one empty. This I rolled in last month and I was expecting to finish it by the end of the year, but I finished it a lot faster than I thought I would. It only took me five uses to finish this, and this is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. Now I know it still looks like there's a lot of product in there, but it's really just like a little bit around the sides. Like when I look through there, it looks pretty empty. and. I'm so glad to be done with this concealer because I really don't care for it. It's very dry. It's always been kind of drying on my under eyes, but I feel like the longer I've had it open, the more and more drying it's become. And I do think that maybe it's just kind of started to dry out as well. So it's just unusable. I'm not really able to pick up any product on the doe foot and I certainly don't care about it enough to take the stopper out. So very happy to be done with this. I wasn't expecting to finish it in only five uses, but I'm happy. I'll take it. All right, I'll go ahead and share one of my other empties as well. This one I was expecting to have finished this month. Um, it's actually the only one that I was like sure would be done this month, and it's the Jordana Forever Flawless Pressed Powder. Um, this I've been working on for several months now, and I did repress it like kind of halfway through last month, I guess, and it is done. I mean, there's like a teeny tiny bit around the edge there that I've just been like scraping with an eyeshadow brush. I've really only been using this to like set my eyeshadow primer in as like a brow bone shade for the last like week or so because I haven't been able to pick up any meaningful amount on a face brush. So I'm going to go ahead and call this done and that is one more face powder down. Face powder is one of those categories in my collection I've been trying to kind of pare down because I just don't, I realized I don't need to have that many of them. I really probably only need to have like two or three at a time and I have like way more than that. So I'm happy to have this finished. Okay, here's a product that I thought I would be done with in this update, but it's just not quite there yet. It will, however, be done by the finale and it's the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick in Glistening Peach. So this is a cream blush stick. And last month I did get to the point where I couldn't twist any more up. So I dug everything out into this little container and this is how much I have left. So you can see, I mean, it's it's really not a whole lot in there. I've just been dipping my brush in there and applying it to my cheeks that way. And yeah, I honestly meant to use this more than I did. I feel like if I had used this more this month, I would have finished it. But I kind of, I kept forgetting to use it because I was using my Ofra liquid lipstick as a cream blush a lot. I was also using some blushes that were in like my makeup basket that I recently started doing. So I just kind of kept forgetting to use this. I did use it 15 times though, which is still pretty good. But anyway, I just need to make sure I use this. Maybe I need to like keep it out on my vanity so I remember it um, because I really do want to have this done by my finale. And this, if I do, assuming I do finish this, this will be the second blush that I've used up in 2021. I don't think I've ever used up two blushes in a year. <laughs> and two full-size blushes at that. So next I have my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. And this I actually had to repress this month unexpectedly. I think this slipped out of my hands and it like landed on my vanity. So it fell, I don't know, like six inches and completely shattered. So I had to go ahead and repress it. Now a lot of people were telling me not to repress this unless I like absolutely had to. Some people were saying don't use alcohol, use it with like a piece of aluminum foil. But for whatever reason, I don't have any aluminum foil on hand. I just, we ran out a few months ago and I just had haven't gotten around to buying it again. So I ended up just repressing it with alcohol the normal way that I always do. And I think it worked pretty well. I'm, I mean, I'm wearing it today and I feel like it's working just as well as it always did. I don't think the formula has changed or anything. So I'm happy with the way that it repressed. 
I'm hoping that it won't shatter again. These Becca highlighters are very breakable. A lot of you guys have told me that yours have also shattered. Anyway, I've been making very, very slow progress on this highlighter, which isn't really a bad thing. I don't mind. I'm not in a hurry to use this up. This definitely won't be done by the finale. I think the reason progress has been so slow on this, even though I've been using it quite a bit, is just because I use a very diffused, fluffy brush with it. So I, I only pick up a small amount at a time. So here's a product that I think I can have done by the finale. It's my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Rich Brown. I mean, you can see it's very small, very small and tiny. Look at how little. So I'm not sure how far down this will sharpen, but I mean, it, it can't go much further down than this, right? I don't know, we'll see. If this isn't done by the finale, I will be surprised. Okay, so next we have a product that I rolled in last update, and it's the Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in Roxy. Now this I have no intention of finishing by the finale, or even, I don't know, like I'm, I really don't care about finishing this. I mainly just rolled it in so that I would get more use out of it, and let me tell you, I have really fallen in love with this eyeliner. This is such a beautiful color. Royal Blue is one of my favorite colors just of all time. It's, I think it's just such a beautiful, rich color. And I love jewel tones like this during this time of year especially. So I've been wearing this as like a winged liner. Now I only used this three times this month. My goal was to use it five times. I still made a little bit of progress on my little piece of paper. Yeah, I mean, I still made a little tiny bit of progress there. So I'm happy with that. I think I did sharpen it once. So um, yeah, that's going well. I would just like to continue using it. I really do like these Urban Decay eyeliners. They're very soft, they glide on. They're certainly not waterproof. I think, yeah, they claim they're waterproof. They're not, like if your eye, I had one day where my eye was watering out of the corner and it, it did rub off my eyeliner a little bit. So I do think they're a little misleading in their claim of saying that this is waterproof, but they do make some really pretty colors and I enjoy this shade a lot. Okay, I don't know what I did, but at least if my monitor is telling the truth, the lighting today is beautiful. I'm very happy with it. I don't know how that happened. All right, so my other Urban Decay pencil that I have in my project pan is their lip pencil in the shade Manic. And this is looking nice and small, especially compared to the eyeliner. This I've been working on for a few months now. I think I rolled this in in July. That's how we're doing there. So. This I also, there were a few products that didn't meet my usage goal on this month. I, this I only used six times instead of eight. But again, I still um, made a little bit of progress, not as much as I had in previous months. But uh, yeah, this obviously won't be done by the end of the year unless I go crazy and use it every day, which I'm not planning on doing. <laughs> but I am really happy to have made as much progress on it as I have so far this year. I will continue making progress, I'm sure, throughout December um, because this was something I was just not using very much, but it is a really, really beautiful color. Next, I've got my Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach. This is just super old and I wanted to get as much use out of it as I could. I'm thinking I might declutter this at the end of this year because I think I've had this for four years now. I think I bought this at the end of 2017, which is kind of embarrassing to admit, but yeah, that's kind of why I was uh, trying to focus on it. But um, this I'm wearing as a cream blush today, really pretty color. I mean, it performs just fine. It doesn't have a weird smell to it, but because it's a cream product with like a doe foot, I, I, I might, it might be time to retire this by the end of this year, but I'm gonna continue using it throughout the next month. It certainly won't be finished. I mean, there's still a ton of, I, I've, I don't think I've ever fully used up a liquid lipstick. I don't know if I ever will. That seems like a very daunting task. And I don't really have any way of tracking my progress on this because it doesn't really show much progress, but you'll, you'll just have to believe me, I have been using it. Okay, so this third empty, I've been kind of holding off on sharing it because it's really exciting. I did not think that this would be done by this update. I wasn't even sure it would be done by the finale, but uh, yeah. Uh, this is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Champagne Mommy. In my last update, I hadn't even removed the stopper yet. Um, there was still you know, quite a bit kind of coating the sides. There was a lot at the bottom. So after, it actually only took me six more uses after that to um, remove the stopper. And with lip glosses, I like to wait until I really can't get any more product out on the applicator before I remove the stopper just to cut down on the messiness. And it really wasn't too bad. I did take my little beauty spatula into there to kind of scrape every last bit out. And I really used up everything in this lip gloss, which is very satisfying. 
Um, some lip glosses, like you can't remove the stopper, you can't fit a spatula in there, but I always love when I can like really clear the whole thing out. So I've been on a roll with lip glosses this year. I've been using them up like crazy. By the way, guys, I've been doing this series where I share tips for ways to repurpose your makeup products, kind of project pan tips for each like type of product. So I recently did one on lip products that included lip glosses, lipsticks, lip balms, uh, a bunch of tips. Some of them are kind of crazy off the wall tips, but there are ways that have helped me kind of use up some of these products. So I will link that down below. I've also done face powders, highlighters, um, blushes and lipsticks. I think those are the ones I've done so far. I have those saved in a playlist, so I'll link that for you, but definitely check that out if you want some product-specific project pan tips. All right, then we have my Pacifica SPF Lip Balm. This is another one that I'm just kind of trying to use as much as I can of it, and I probably will declutter this at the end of the year because it's just kind of old. And I'm also just trying to get in the habit of wearing SPF on my lips as often as I can remember. So, yeah, this is how much I have left. Every single month I make just like the tiniest little dent in this. It just, for some reason, this is one of those very slow moving products. I make like the exact same amount of progress every month. Yeah, this certainly won't be done by the finale, but at least I've been using it probably more than I otherwise would have. Okay, so in the like semi finale, I don't always like to roll in new products because we only have a month left of this project pan, but there were two products that I kind of just felt like rolling in. Even though they probably won't be done by the finale, I still just kind of wanted to see some progress on them and potentially roll them over into my next year's project pan as well. So the first one I already know is the next lip gloss that I want to use up. Um, and it's the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper in Soft Rose. I love this gloss. I kind of forgot about it for a while and then I picked it back up and I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot how good this was. Specifically, the shade of this is like my perfect My Lips But Better shade. I mean, it is a true My Lips But Better because this literally is the color of my lips in lip gloss form. So I've described it in the past as like a BB cream for my lips because that literally is what it is. Like it just kind of makes my lips look so perfected. Like I said, I've been flying through lip glosses this year. I definitely won't have this done by the finale for sure, but this is how much I have left right now and this is one that um, if I do leave it standing upright it does kind of settle so I can see exactly where I am and um, yeah I have like more than half of this left but this is my next oldest lip gloss in my collection I think I bought this in December of 2019 so I've had it for about two years now and I am excited to start seeing some progress on it. Also just excited to use it because I love this lip gloss. And it's always fun to pan products that you like really love. The other product I've decided to roll in, and by the way, I've decided to only roll in two products even though I used up three. I just didn't have a third product I wanted to roll in. So for this, for this last month, we're only gonna have nine products in the project. But the other product I decided to roll in is my Pixi Rose Glow Mist, and it is in a different bottle. This is actually a NYX setting spray bottle that I put it into because the Pixi bottle, like, stopped spraying properly. I have no idea how much is left in here because I like it's completely opaque. I cannot see how much is in there, but it feels like there's really not much left. Like I, I'm, if I had to guess, I would say it's probably around this point. So maybe I can finish this by the finale. We'll see. Probably not. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but it would be nice to have this in my year end empties. And now that we're into like the winter months, my skin is as always just a little bit drier than usual. So this is a very like hydrating, glowy mist that I think this is the time of year that I use it the most. So we'll see, we'll just see. So that is my project pan update for you, my last update of the year before the finale. So at the end of this month, I will come back with my finale and share the products that I used up. I'll also kind of do like a wrap up of just the whole year of project panning and how many items I used up, all that fun stuff. So if you've not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you have subscribed, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when I upload. Um, I don't mention that often, but it is you know a good way to make sure that you don't miss out on any of my videos and like I said this month I'm uploading every single day. If you've got any last minute vlogmas video requests let me know in the comments. I've got almost every single video planned but I think I have a few spots left so let me know um, and otherwise I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. I'll see you again tomorrow in my next video. Bye!